Hi guys, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new here. In today's video we are talking about beloved beauty sleep. We know how good it is for each and every one of us. However, it can also be responsible for causing wrinkles. If you're a side sleeper, you very likely are creating unnecessary wrinkles. So think about it. When you're sleeping on your pillow at night, you're doing this. I mean, our head weighs about five kilos, right? So you are just putting pressure just like that on your face, causing these wrinkles. It's not pretty, is it? So when you're sleeping like this and putting the weight on and you're kind of moving around, you can actually create asymmetrical features. Another downside to sleeping on your side is that all of the fluid can settle near your eyes and what that creates is that sort of puffiness when we wake up in the morning. Not to mention those little lines we get on our face, which I've certainly had over the years, as I imagine everybody has, where you, <laughs> you wake up and you've got a big crease down the center of your face that takes ages for it to go away. But for me, the biggest issue was actually chest wrinkles. Um, I think that's the thing for me that actually got me thinking about making a change and trying to do something different here. How am I going to address all of these sort of wrinkles, these dynamic wrinkles that I'm creating just by sleeping? These wouldn't be there if it weren't for the position that I choose to sleep in. So my personal solution, particularly to the chest wrinkles, was teaching myself to sleep on my back. It's not an easy thing to do. After probably 10 to almost 12 months, I was able to do it. So every night I sleep on my back. Now, I did do a video about this last summer. So if you're interested in learning more about how I train myself, the positions that I sleep in and the methods that I use, I will put a link to that video down in the description bar below and you can have a look at it. What do you do if you can't sleep on your back or won't? What if you're a side sleeper and it's the only way that you want to sleep? Well, my answer to that is getting the right pillow. So that's what today's video is about. It's all about the Omnia Pillow by Sleep and Glow. So first off, to me, sleep is probably one of the most important things in the whole wide world. I mean, the difference between a good day and a bad day, to me, it comes down to the sort of sleep that I had. So if I've had a crappy night's rest, trust me, you do not want to be around me. <laughs> I turn into nope. a bit of a... <laughs> would you say I'm a bit of a monster? No. Oh, no, no, you would never say that. No. Yes, I am hell on wheels if I haven't had a good night's rest. I'm sure we've all been there. So I do take my sleep very seriously, as Gary knows. Mm -hmm. You know, I don't really do the phone in bed at night. Um, I sleep with a mask to keep the light out. I sleep with a fan to keep myself cool. I'm serious about my sleeping, and that also includes the pillows. As <laughs> Gary knows, I bought a lot of freaking pillows over the years trying to find the right configuration. So when it comes to pillows, for the last 10 months, I've been using a very particular pillow that allowed me to back sleep. However, I found that it was starting to become uncomfortable. It was getting, I don't know, I just started waking up with pains that I wasn't having before. And it just wasn't suiting the purpose anymore. So I started looking around. Now, I know I'm a back sleeper. Traditional pillows just don't do it for me. They're too floppy. I like my pillows to be at a certain height, la 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 la. So I needed to go out and find something that was actually going to work for the way that I sleep specifically. So there are a number of people that I follow here on YouTube, like Claudia Glows, that it had a lot of really fantastic things to say about this particular pillow. So I actually contacted Sleep and Glow and asked them if they would send me a pillow that I could try out. Now, let me start by saying this is not a sponsored video. And what I say on this channel is, is the truth. It's my truth. So if I don't like a product, one of two things is gonna happen. One, it will kind of go into a faves and fails video that I do every season, or it just disappears and you never hear about it. I'm not here to talk badly or to bash brands, but if I don't really like something that really doesn't suit me, I'm just kind of not going to talk about it. So needless to say, I think this pillow is fantastic. It works for me as a back sleeper, but again, that's not why we're here. We're here to talk to you side sleepers. Now, I will be honest and say I don't sleep on my back 100% of the time. There's probably 5 or 10% that I end up on my side, and it's usually the nights that I'm having a really bad sleep, because I don't know about you guys, but if I'm not comfortable or, you know, my brain won't turn off or whatever, you find yourself kind of tossing and turning, and when you're sleeping on your back, there's nowhere else to go <laughs> except your side. So there is a small amount of time that I am on my side when I'm just trying to get comfortable and get back to sleep. So that's why this pillow is perfect. Okay, so now we're going to take a look at it. Now I've taken my silk pillowcase off of the pillow. This is what our pillow looks like, right? It's a nice big pillow um, and it has a couple of different compartments that 
perform different functions. So the pink area in the center is where the back sleepers would position the heads. So that's how I'm using the pillow most evenings. Now at the front, there's like a little green section and that's your neck support. So that's showing you, it cradles the back of my neck and holds my shoulders in position. If you're a side sleeper, this is where the purple areas come in. Now the purple part is this little bit right here. It's like a little shelf. And what's happening is that is where your face is going. So your face is being held in on this little shelf here just on these parts of your face. So the light purple part right here isn't touching anything. So your face is not getting squashed up against a pillow and it's fully supported on the top and the bottom. I'm sorry you guys, it's genius. So to me, this is actually the perfect pillow because it suits me for sleeping mostly on the back. It keeps me supported and it keeps my head in place, but it also gives me that side, you know, if I need to do it every now and then, my face is totally protected. Now, I loved this pillow from the second night I used it. Now, not the first, and this could be a nice little note of warning. What I did not realize is that in one side of this, there's a little indentation here that supports the neck, and I didn't realize that. I'm sure there were instructions that said it, but I'm not so good at reading those. And I actually put my neck on this side of it. And as a result, I woke up with neck pain. So I thought that's not great. So I did go back and look at it a little closer and realized there was a crevice there specifically for supporting my neck. And once I got that, I was absolutely off and running. And I've had a lot of holidays this, you know, this past month. And it was one of those things that I kept thinking, can I fit this into my suitcase, please? And I couldn't, of course, but I loved it that much that I would have taken it with me if I could have. The things that I really do like about this pillow, in addition to everything I've just said, is that I like the height of it. It is not too high. I'm not someone that sleeps with two pillows, right? I like being closer to the bed because I'm small. I'm only five foot, so I'm actually quite tiny, quite petite. So I couldn't have a head that's kind of up high off of the bed without getting some real neck pain. But what's interesting is this, this is adjustable and it comes with this other sort of leveler. So you put underneath it like this and you put it into the pillowcase if you want a little extra height. So it is adjustable in that respect. Now, I do know that lots of people do like a lot more height, particularly if they're on their side. So I have seen other folks put this on top of a, another pillow, just if you're looking for that additional height up to you. The other thing I love about these pillows is that you can get silk pillowcases to go with it. It's one of the things that I hated about the other pillow that I had. And even throwing a silk pillowcase over it just didn't quite work. This is designed to fit snugly. It has all the areas for all the areas. And I think everybody should sleep with a silk pillowcase for sure. It's so good for your skin. It is so good for your hair. It reduces static. It reduces breakage. It's great. Carrie, would you like a silk pillowcase? Oh, thank you. No, he says, my skin and my hair are fine. And the other thing that I like is that you can buy as many pillowcases as you want. <laughs> My last pillow, it only had one pillowcase with it. So I'd have to wash it, hang it up to dry, and get it all back in the bed within the same day. And it used to drive me crazy. So now I have multiple ones of these, one's on the wash, or one's clean, and one's on the bed. So I like to clean my pillowcases more than once a week. Um, so I have the freedom to do that. Now, this pillow is not cheap. It's $175. And I'm really thrilled and thankful to Sleep and Glow for supplying this to me because I don't have to pay for it. But the question is, would I? Yes, I would. I'm sure there would be lots of very healthy debate with the fellow behind the camera because it's a not an insignificant spend. But to me, sleep is everything. If you can find the right tools that help you sleep well night after night after night, to me, it's worth it. So I would have saved up a little bit, you know, and eventually gotten it, but 100% I would be buying this pillow. I do have a discount code for you. If you use Mary Skin, you will get 10% off the purchase price, and I will put the link of where you can buy this pillow down below. The funny thing is, just while I was looking at the website just to get some of the details for this video, I found a couple of other products that I thought were really worth the mention. The first is a pillow specifically designed for people who are trying to learn to sleep on their back. I think it's called the Aula, A-U-L-A. And oh my gosh, I wish that it had been around when I was searching because I didn't see this one in particular. And it's fantastic because it has these sort of side support. So the idea is that when you're on your back, you're not going to be able to turn to the side. It's kind of keeping you locked in place. So if that's something that you're looking into and trying to train yourself to back sleep, which I still think everybody should, then this is definitely a pillow worth checking out. And the last thing I actually think is pure genius. It is a pillow bra. Now this is specifically to address the issue around chest wrinkles. Now I'm telling you right now, if you sleep on your side, you're going to get them. doesn't matter what age you are. If you don't already have them, you will get them. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter how big your chest is. It does not matter. You're going to get the chest wrinkles. And even for someone like me, I'm part of the itty bitty titty committee. <laughs> I really don't have a whole lot going on there. I started to see incredible wrinkles in the last probably three or four years. So I imagine if you have even larger breasts, this is going to be even more of an issue. So this device is designed to sit there and to kind of keep everything smooth. I think it's genius. So if you're a side sleeper, I'd be getting this too. 
So guys, that is it for today's video. How do you sleep? Are you a side sleeper? Are you a back sleeper? Are you a stomach sleeper? Which by the way, is supposed to be the worst of all positions. <laughs> just saying, it's not good for the body. I'd really like to know if this is just me. <laughs> <laughs> Gary thinks I'm insane. The amount of pillows I've tried, the sort of the frustrations with getting myself there. What do you think? Have you tried the Sleep and Glow? Are you interested in trying the Sleep and Glow? I, I just think this is a total game changer when it comes to sleep and, and sort of the beauty side of things. And it's just better for overall health. I so love hearing your thoughts, so please leave them down in the comments below. And I hope to see you at the next video. Bye. Am I looking okay? Yes. Okay, everything's Looking okay. lovely, Mary. Okay, thank you.